guys, this is Darren from Muskie Hunt Guide Service with a tip that's going to help you a lot this coming year in the year 2016. If you ever store things in the back of your pickup box like we do and have an issue getting them or need more space, especially if you like to sleep in the back or store more things, we got something for you. So if you've ever had a problem with your your items that you store in the back being up at the front and always trying to go get them because you got to reach in there to the room. Storing your cleaning supplies. You never know when you're going to need a chain. And, of course, the tote. Now, what this is, I'll show you this in a second. We'll put the room back. We learned many years ago, um, because towing a boat, you get a flat tire. And we once took, uh, we're not prepared for having a flat tire on our boat trailer. We tried to take lug nuts off with the needle nose pliers at one time. That didn't work. So we went and built a tote that has a bottle jack. We've got straps in here. We've got breaker bars. We got wrenches with all of the right sockets to make sure you can get the tire off of a truck or you can get a tire off of a boat trailer. So what we've done we searched the internet for something to put all this stuff in that would be out of our way and also allow us to put a mattress in here to sleep when we are on a trip uh, doing a fishing tournament or guiding on a lake up north. So what we found, we'll get these out of the way. got to have cleaning supplies because you got to keep the boat clean. Can't fish out of a dirty boat. Or truck. For that matter. What we found is what's called a swing case. A swing case from Undercover Sportsman. These mount right here on the side inside your pickup box on the side right in front of the wheel wells and lets you keep the space of your four foot wide bed to be able to put down a sheet of plywood or a futon mattress or whatever else you need. And then all of the stuff that we had in our tote, our spare tire tote, our cleaning supplies, our chains, our straps, our bungee straps, because you never know when you're going to pick something up uh, to bring home that might be new for the boat or the truck. All that stuff will go right into these. So. What I did was I, we found these on, online, actually I saw a post on Instagram from Undercover Sportsman and I liked it so much that I went and purchased two of them. So we're going to install them today and I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, let's see what it looks like inside. Powerphone. It's a plastic bag, that's nice. Okay, whenever you order something online, you know, you're always concerned about how it's going to get shipped to you. If it's going to survive the packaging process, it looks like that's it. Box out of the way. Alright, this is just cardboard. We don't need that. Bag. Instructions and the hardware would be inside. Sure enough, there it is. Okay, here's the warranty information. Good to have. Keep that. Looks like the hardware instructions. Anything else? That's the keys for the lock. There's the tray. Okay. 
Now this side, this one here is for the driver's side. There are two different sides. So you, when you order one, it's either the driver's side or the passenger side. They come for all uh, vehicles. Ours happens to be a Toyota Tundra. Just set this right over here for Okay, now. so we have, we got the swing case out. We got the installation guide out. Long bracket that goes down the side of the pickup right here. The main bracket that attaches to the corner. A couple cordless drills. You're gonna need a 7 16th socket. We recommend using a drill bit to pre-drill your holes as a pilot. Comes with six screws and two nuts in here, according to the instructions. Use a nut driver, ratchet wrench on your nut. Don't rec we don't recommend that you tighten them down with your uh, cordless drill because you could over tighten them. And then we got the uh, T40 uh, bit to take the tie down hooks off the side of the truck because you're not going to be using those. And in a small level just to make sure everything is leveled up. All right, the tools are ready. We're going to start installing the brackets, but first we got to take this bracket off. Set that aside over here. And then we're going to, like I said, pre drill the holes, which we've done one already. So we're going to mount the bracket up with the screws that we have. So get your bracket assembly, get your drill prepared All right. with your 7 16 socket. You have the pilot hole already made for that one. did for this one. Grab another screw. Actually when we're doing this, this is actually pretty easy to do. Not bad at all. And like I said in the beginning, don't necessarily tighten those down with the drill. You want to hand tighten these so that you don't strip them. Okay, those are set. Now you move on to the next two. A little pilot hole for those. And tighten them. Okay. Not going anywhere. Now, take the two nuts that they provided. Mount this on here.
nut. Again, what we want to do here is hand tighten these down. Because you don't want to strip them. put the swing case in install right on top of the hinge here the bottom one goes on first swing case on the hinge let her swing in and there she goes Okay, so you saw in the beginning that we had all this stuff in the back of our truck and usually it got slid up to the front which eliminated us from using the back of our truck the way we wanted to utilize it. So we installed the swing cases and put all of the stuff that we had in these things including our spare tire tote all now are in the swing cases. So all this stuff doesn't have to be in here anymore. Slide that over there, get rid of the ice cream pails. And now we have our swing cases with the full use of our bed. We can slide anything in here that we want and it helps us utilize it better for what we do. Hopefully this might work out for you. Um, we, we think it certainly will. We'll give you an update later on in the year to see how they go, but we're pretty confident that it's gonna work. This is Darren from Muskie Hunt Guide Service. You can follow us on Facebook at Muskie Hunt Guide Service. You can follow us on Instagram at Musky Hunt or see us on YouTube on our channel of Musky Hunt. Thanks a lot and have a great day.